Hello my Pisces friends, this is Absinthe and I'm here with your reading. I'm a bit late. Um, sorry about that, but we're here now. If you're feeling like short readings, feel free to subscribe. And also, like this video if you want to bookmark it for future reference or to just help me pay it forward. Thank you so much. Um, I did shuffle, I was in the middle of reading it. Then the mailman rang the bell. <laughs> so I have to start all over again. I don't like cutting it off so um here we had the for you pisces we had the three of wands which is basically expansion and uh, new business prospects or a new job traveling you know or um it's expanding a business maybe a water profession you know like boating um working in the docks you know summer jobs things like that um you know or it's just you trying to expand your business you know or something some kind of business mindedness because we also have this here this um king of swords which is uh it strikes me as more of an entrepreneurial um you know um it strikes me as a more entrepreneurial uh, aura going on here and energy okay i'm gonna reread A description for this so that you get a, a nice um, full rounded description okay um, preparation foresight wing options expansion a frog sits on a lily pad contemplating Three ships that swirl in the current. The Three of Wands tells you to keep an open mind and to consider all the choices that lay before you. There are opportunities ahead to expand your horizons. This could be learning a new skill, beginning a new relationship, or traveling to a new landscape. This is the calm before the storm. You can see the upcoming challenges associated with these new opportunities and are able to take this moment to prepare for them and choose the best course all right so you're navigating the high seas <laughs> basically people are applying for you you know what i'm saying because they know that you have the best capabilities you have the best skills and they want you you know but you need to weigh out all your options before you you, you choose the best course of action okay and you can do that with logic um, because you have the king of swords here which means you're very very experienced in this area all right let me see all right so here we have uh the king of swords which is intellect authority truth and ethics so um, an antlered king gazes out from the shadows of his helm. He kind of reminds me of like Star Wars. <laughs> he's dressed. Um, the king of swords in this is an intelligent and decisive leader who acts with justice, self-assurance, and unwavering reason. He is often looked up to as an authority figure and a mediator, for he excels at cutting through confusion to reach the core of truth in any manner in any matter so this king of swords is here this energy is guiding you to make the best decision without emotions you know um without um being confused with the utmost clarity so you have a sharp focus you have the men the mental stamina to uh, fulfill this task he performs well under pressure and does not bulk at responsibility so like a boss maybe a, a, a new promotion you know um, when he appears in the reading the king urges the reader to act swiftly with a clear head and a steady hand so these offers are coming swiftly so you have to do it not emotionally cutting to the core of it finding out the truth 
you know, and taking quick action. And we see here with the wands energy um, as a whole, the wands tends to act very swiftly and very passionately, so with fervor, okay? So, yeah, that's basically what I got for you. I hope that this helps you, and um, I hope you have a wonderful day, all right? Be safe. Thank you. Bye.